In the heart of battle, where every soldier carries a weapon to survive, one man stood armed with nothing but his faith and unwavering courage. This is the story of Desmond Doss, a hero unlike any other. Desmond Doss was a man of deep conviction. In a time when the world was at war and carrying a gun was seen as the only way to serve, Doss chose a different path. He was a conscientious objector who believed so strongly in the sanctity of life that he refused to take another's, even in war. But this did not stop him from serving his country. As a medic in the U.S. Army during World War II, Doss entered the battlefield of Okinawa with no weapons to protect him. His only tools were his medical kit and his faith. Against all odds, he saved the lives of 75 men, proving that true heroism doesn't always come from the barrel of a gun. This tale of bravery and conviction shows us the extraordinary strength it takes to be a hero without ever fighting back. Desmond Doss's story is a testament to the power of faith and the incredible impact one person's actions can have on the lives of many. In the rolling hills of Virginia, amidst the turmoil of a world gearing up for war, a young Desmond Doss was being shaped by values that would defy the very nature of conflict. Born into a family where faith wasn't just practiced on Sundays, but was a living, breathing part of everyday existence, Desmond's early life was steeped in the principles of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. This upbringing instilled in him a profound respect for all life, teaching him that the act of taking another's life was the gravest of sins. The commandment, Thou shalt not kill, was etched into his heart, guiding his actions throughout his life. As Desmond grew, so did the conflict around him. The world was on the brink of the Second World War, when patriotism often meant taking up arms to defend one's country. Yet, the thought of bearing weapons against another human being was inconceivable for Desmond. His faith taught him that every life was sacred, that every heartbeat was a whisper of the divine. How could he, a devout believer in the sanctity of life, reconcile his duty to his country with his moral convictions? The answer came from within. Desmond Doss decided to serve his country in the only way he felt was right, saving lives instead of taking them. He enlisted in the army as a medic, allowing him to uphold his duty to his nation while adhering to his deeply held beliefs. This decision, however, was met with skepticism and scorn. To many, a soldier who refused to bear arms was not a soldier at all but a liability, a coward hiding behind his faith. But Desmond's conviction was unwavering. He faced ridicule, isolation, and even persecution from those who could not understand his stance. Yet he held firm, fueled by a belief in a higher purpose. His commitment to his principles was not a sign of weakness, but of extraordinary strength. It was a declaration that he would not compromise his values, not even in the face of war's deepest darkness. As he prepared for battle, Desmond knew that his path was fraught with danger. Without a weapon to defend himself, he would be vulnerable on the battlefield, his life in the hands of fate and his faith. But in this vulnerability lay his greatest strength. Desmond Doss walked into the heart of war, armed with nothing but his medical kit and a steadfast spirit, ready to demonstrate that the true measure of heroism is not found in the ability to destroy, but in the capacity to save. This part of Desmond's journey teaches us a profound lesson about courage and conviction. It shows us that standing by one's beliefs, especially in the face of adversity, is one of the bravest acts a person can perform. Desmond Doss's early life and decision to serve as a medic, guided by his unshakable faith and respect for life, paved the way for acts of valor that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of history. It's a testament to the power of conviction and the extraordinary impact one can have when choosing compassion over conflict, love over hatred. As Desmond Doss entered military training, his commitment to serve without bearing arms was met with fierce resistance. He stood out within the barracks and training fields, not for his physical prowess or sharpshooting skills, but for his refusal to pick up a weapon. His fellow soldiers and leadership viewed his stance with suspicion and outright disdain. 
In an environment where the measure of a soldier's worth was often gouged by their ability to wield a weapon, Doss's principles were seen as a weakness. This moral stance could potentially endanger the lives of those he was meant to serve alongside. His challenges were not just verbal. They manifested in every aspect of his military life. The harassment became a part of his daily existence, with peers and superiors alike attempting to break his spirit and force him into conformity. They believed the pressure would make him relent and that the prospect of being ostracized would push him to abandon his convictions in favor of acceptance. Doss was given the most menial tasks, subjected to rigorous discipline, and faced threats of military punishment. His path was one of solitude, walking a line that no one else dared to tread. Yet, Desmond Doss's character was forged within this crucible of opposition. Each challenge, each moment of resistance, only served to strengthen his resolve. His faith, far from being a shield from the realities of war, was his guiding light, giving him the strength to stand firm in his beliefs. Doss remained undeterred, his eyes fixed not on the approval of his peers, but on a higher calling. He knew his mission was to save lives and be a beacon of hope in the darkest times. Doss's persistence in adversity eventually shifted the tide of opinion around him. His unwavering commitment to his principles and undeniable courage slowly earned him the respect of those who once doubted him. It became clear that Doss was not driven by fear or coldness, but by a profound sense of duty and a compassionate heart. His fellow soldiers began to see the value in his presence, recognizing that the battlefield needed warriors who could fight and those who could heal and snatch life from the jaws of death. Desmond Doss's journey through training and the challenges he faced highlight the enduring power of faith and the strength of the human spirit. His story is a vivid reminder that true courage often lies not in conforming to the expectations of others, but in being true to oneself. Doss's persistence not only allowed him to overcome his skepticism and resistance, it paved the way for his extraordinary acts of heroism that would soon unfold on the battlefields of Okinawa, forever changing the lives of those he touched. In the spring of 1945, the Battle of Okinawa became one of the most brutal confrontations of World War II. This island, with its rugged terrain and dense forests, turned into a bloody battleground where the horrors of war were laid bare. The relentless bombardment, the unforgiving weather, and the fierce resistance from entrenched forces created a scenario where survival seemed a distant hope. It was here, amidst this chaos, that Desmond Doss's true heroism would emerge. Against the backdrop of ceaseless gunfire and explosions, Doss's role as a medic transcended the call of duty. One of the most remarkable instances of his bravery occurred when he ran into an open field under heavy enemy fire to rescue a wounded soldier. Without a moment's hesitation, Doss dragged the soldier to safety, all the while praying, Lord, help me get one more. This prayer became his mantra, fueling a series of daring rescues that seemed to defy the very nature of the battlefield. On another occasion, Doss spotted a soldier severely wounded and stranded in no man's land. Ignoring the danger to himself, Doss made his way to the soldier, administered first aid, and then, under a hail of bullets, carried him back to the American lines. His actions were not isolated acts of bravery, but a continuous display of valor and compassion. Doss moved from one wounded soldier to the next, often the last to leave the battlefield, ensuring no one was left behind. The pinnacle of Doss's heroism unfolded over a harrowing night that would etch his name into history. Positioned at the top of a sheer cliff known as Hacksaw Ridge, American forces found themselves in a desperate situation, with the wounded scattered across the battlefield. Doss, amidst the onslaught, refused to seek cover. Instead, he ventured into the night, each time returning with a soldier slung over his shoulders or dragging them to the edge of the cliff. Then, with remarkable ingenuity, he fashioned a makeshift rope sling to lower them safely down the 400-foot escarpment. Throughout that long night, Doss's resolve never wavered. His fearless determination and innovative rescue methods 
ensured 75 men lived to see another day. This extraordinary feat was a testament to his physical endurance and unbreakable spirit. In the face of overwhelming odds, Doss's actions spoke of a man who armed only with his faith and a deep love for his fellow soldiers, became a beacon of hope in one of the darkest hours of the conflict. The Battle of Okinawa and Desmond Doss's unparalleled courage therein remind us that heroes often choose to act not out of a desire for glory, but from a profound commitment to their fellow human beings. Doss's story is about survival and how the power of faith, compassion, and unwavering commitment to saving lives can illuminate the darkest moments of humanity's history. After the war, Desmond Doss's extraordinary bravery and selflessness did not go unnoticed. In recognition of his incredible service and the lives he saved, Doss was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Harry S. Truman. This moment was historic, marking the first time this highest military honor was bestowed upon a conscientious objector. President Truman, in presenting the medal, acknowledged Doss's unparalleled courage, stating, I'm proud of you. You deserve this. I consider this a greater honor than being president. This recognition served not only as a testament to Doss's heroism, but also as a validation of his unwavering principles. The impact of Desmond Doss's story extends far beyond the medals and accolades. His life challenged and reshaped perceptions of heroism, demonstrating that true bravery often lies in the strength of one's convictions and the courage to act on them. Doss's story brought conscientious objection to the forefront of national conversation, highlighting the role of faith and personal beliefs in the context of war. His actions served as a powerful reminder that heroism is not defined by one's capacity for violence, but by their commitment to humanity and compassion. Doss's legacy continues to inspire people across the world. His story was brought to life in the 2016 film Hacksaw Ridge, directed by Mel Gibson, which portrayed his remarkable life and the incredible bravery he displayed during the Battle of Okinawa. The film introduced Doss's legacy to a new generation, capturing the essence of his dedication and the profound impact of his actions. Moreover, memorials and exhibits dedicated to his memory, such as those at the National Museum of the Pacific War and other historical sites, ensure that his story remains a part of our collective history. Desmond Doss's life and embodied values resonate deeply within military and pacifist communities. His story serves as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the profound effects one individual can have through acts of kindness, faith, and courage. Doss's legacy is a testament to the power of nonviolence and the indomitable spirit of the human heart in a world often torn by conflict and strife. In the echoes of Desmond Doss's extraordinary journey, we find a profound lesson in courage and conviction. His life prompts us to question. What does it mean to be brave? Doss's bravery was not found in the might of a weapon, but in the strength of his convictions, in the unwavering belief that it is possible to stand for peace even amidst the horrors of war. His story compels us to consider how we, too, can embody such steadfast courage and compassion in our own lives. As we reflect on Desmond Doss's legacy, let us ponder the role of faith, bravery, and non-violence in shaping our world. His life challenges us to think about how we can act with integrity and kindness, even in adversity. How can we apply the principles that guided DOS to our daily interactions and the broader challenges our world faces? Let this be an invitation to reflect on the values of courage, faith, and non-violence. Let us consider how these timeless principles can guide us in navigating the complexities of the modern world. May the spirit of Desmond Doss inspire us to act with compassion and conviction, reminding us that true heroism is rooted in our love for one another and the courage to act on that love. In a world often divided by conflict, Doss's story is a beacon of hope, showing us that peace begins with the choices of individuals. Let us carry forward his legacy, making choices that foster peace, understanding, and unity.